this is Scott Gorham, uh, formerly and slash still kind of with Ben Lizzie. Uh, I'm at my angle station right now. Uh, this is where uh, everything happens for me. Uh, we're doing the new uh, Black Star Riders album. Uh, we've got, what do we got? 16 songs. We've picked out 12. And we're kind of doing this all, it's like we do a song a day. You start from one, two, three, four, you take it right down to the finished guitar solos, uh, finished uh, vocal tracks, the whole ball of wax all in one day. And then you come in the next day and do the same thing again. Now this is, it's pretty cool working this way uh, because it really keeps you on your toes. Uh, it's never boring. <laughs> in fact, it's kind of freaking scary uh, sometimes, right? But it's amazing how it forces out some really cool ideas, uh, like on the spot ideas. Uh, there's been several times where you, you know, there's a riff in the song that you know maybe you're not really too cool with, right? And then once you get around with everybody, start working things out. These these things just kind of have a way of sort of working themselves out and working it down, you know, the the right path. So uh, it's it's a it's a pretty it's a hard and different and cool way of working the, the way we're doing this uh, Black Star Writers album. Uh, I know there's a bit of confusion going on here right now with the uh, the, uh, the Thin Lizzy thing versus the Black Star Rider thing of you know who's the, who's in what band and who's doing what and what the heck happened, right? Well, uh, Thin Lizzy will always be Thin Lizzy. The, the, you know the last group of uh, guys that you saw in the lineup that is Thin Lizzy, and that will always stay Thin Lizzy. But you know on this one here with the Black Star Riders. Uh, Brian Downey wanted to take wanted to take a break from the whole music thing. So did Darren Wharton, uh, and you know we were all fine with that. But you know we had these songs already written, uh, and you know it's, it's 15 songs that we really believe in. So we drafted in uh, the drummer uh, Jimmy DeGrasso, uh, who's just he's a pretty kick-ass guy, and and uh, the same goes for his drumming, right? But uh, we, we as soon as we finished this album. Uh, it will probably be released, from what I'm hearing, uh, sometime around March or May, right? But that'll be the same time when Thin Lizzy gets back together again, and uh, we go on tour with uh, Queen, or not Queen, with <laughs> Kiss and uh, Motley Crue, and that'll be uh, end, of uh, end of February, uh, I guess mid-March, uh, something like that. So, you know, that would be great. I mean, the, the, the actual name Thin Lizzy hasn't been in Australia now for a long, long time. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what uh, the Australian fans uh, uh, have to say about us as a band. But we are going to have a good time. A couple of, one of the guys from, uh, uh, well, a couple of guys from KISS have, have been down here to shake hands and all that. They're great guys. So we're going to have a really good time over there. Uh, so I've just been asked, uh, would Phil uh, uh, approve of this music? Would he, no, I guess it's a better question, would he uh, have liked this music that we're coming up with? Uh, yeah, I, I, Phil was a, a big music lover anyway. Uh, he had a huge library of likes that, uh, that, that he went with, right? And I think he would really, really love what we're doing down here. I really think he would love... Uh, uh, Ricky's lyrics too. Uh, you know, when I read Ricky's lyrics, I cannot believe how prolific this guy is. I mean, I'll come up with a riff, you know, bop, 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 and he'll go, "Hey, man, I got a, I got a lyric for that." Really? Already? <laughs> it kills me, right? But uh, yeah, I, I think Phil would actually not only did he like this stuff, but I think he liked being the band. That's the kind of guy Phil was. So uh, this is the first time I've used uh, Angle in the studio. I mean, I've been using them now for, what, like three years? Three, four years? Something like, something like that. Right? You see, it's, it's so flawless, I forget how long I've been playing these, right? 
But uh, this is the first time I've had a chance to uh, use them in the studio. So, uh, you know, there's always a question mark there. Uh, well, how, how is this stuff going to sound in the studio? And, you know, I can tell you right from the get, uh, first track in, it, it sounded great. And they, they've been sounding great right up until this. I think we're on our eighth track now, uh, eighth track in, in eight days. And they sound great. I mean, uh, uh, one of my guitar techs keeps going on about I put it on the high gain here, right? But uh, uh, I, do, I do put it on the low gain for the rhythm tracks also, right? And then I'll sneak over and just kind of pump that little baby up to the high gain, you see, because uh, Ingle gives you such a nice, even, really cool sound. Of it. Ow! I've been shot! Uh, Studio-wise, uh, the angle apps give you everything that you ask for. And as a guitar player, you can't ask for more than that. So, thank you, man. <laughs>